Hey there, crazy kids! I am the good old gamer, and we're back to playing more FTL! This time we're actually going to begin the game. We've played the tutorial, sort of gotten an idea about how the game's gonna go. Now let's uh, begin new game! Fresh start. Silly person! Pixelated Vortex! I am busy! I am busy. Give me just a second, guys. Uh, be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that, I'm back. Silly people on Steam! Bah! Anyways, um... Okay, I clearly need to turn the options back down with the music. Anyways, welcome to the Federation Hangar! Here you'll be able to choose your ship, name it, and name your crew. Right now, only the Kestrel is available to you, but as you play, you will unlock more. You can change the difficulty setting in the top right. If you're new, you might want to give Easy a shot first. Um. Options. Music. I like you, music, but you're too loud. Wait, how do I... Oh, well, I guess I just... Okay. So, we're here. Um, I guess the only ship we can get is the Kestrel. Everything else is not available to us because this is the very first time I've ever played this game. So, this is it. The Kestrel is our ship. Um, and we don't even get to pick a layout or anything. Well, this is lame. What do we have? Artemis missiles, burst laser. We get to rename our crew. We only have three. Complete two of three to unlock a layout. Have every system and subsystem installed on the Kestrel cruiser at one time. Have six unique aliens on the Kestrel cruiser simultaneously. As the Kestrel cruiser repair back to full health when it only has one HP remaining. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to worry about that, I guess. Uh, can I not do anything? So it's not going to let me update or anything. The Kestrel. Um, what should I rename? Let's call the Kestrel... Um, I don't know. Uh, let's call it... Let's call it the Delta Flyer, since that's what it, the shape of it reminds me of. <laughs> it's the Delta Flyer, kind of. Um, uh, I can rename the crew. Oh, I guess I could do that first. Chris Mallet. Humans are common and uninteresting. No exceptional traits. That's lovely. Tai Yi. Also a human. Mortraven. Also a human. Well, this is just fantastic. Um. Oh, wow. Brown or... Whatever, we'll go with that, and we'll go rename. And since we're going with the Delta Flyer theme, let's go with Tom Paris. You will be our pilot, Mr. Tom Paris. And you... I can't tell if... I guess it 
a boy or girl doesn't matter. Or maybe that's the girl version? Let's assume that's the girl version. Uh, you will be... Um... You will be... Our engineer and our engines, so you will be... I... Lieutenant Torres, since I'm not... I forgot how to spell Belana, and it might not fit anyway. So we'll do that, except I'm going to have to change you back to dark hair, since I think the other one we decided was the girl form. And then you are going to be our weapons guy, so you will be... Even though you're human, you will be Mr. Tuvok. And I honestly don't know why I'm going with a Voyager theme, but the Delta Flyer fit the ship, so I'm going with Voyager crew, I guess. Um, okay, so we got Paris, Torres, and uh, Mr. Tuvok. I'm not entirely sure why Tom Paris only went down to Paris, and Lieutenant Torres only went to Torres, but Mr. Tuvok is perfectly comfortable being Mr. Tuvok. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess that's all we can do. I don't know if we can change out weapons. It doesn't look like we can do anything with, as far as weapons go. We just, we're just stuck with whatever we get, I guess. Alright, well... Increased scrap rewards and easier enemy generation. Your score gets 25% boost. Let's just go with normal. I have a feeling I'm going to die pretty quickly, but whatever. Start. Okay. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Open the end game menu by pressing Escape. You can restart or change option options from there. Right. Um. Okay. Mr. Tuvok, you will man our weapons. Oops, and I'm doing it wrong already. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Mr. Tuvok, man our weapons. Ms. Torres, man our engines. And Paris, you're fine where you are. Um, speaking of weapons, let's load up. We have eight missiles and 16 fuel. Looks like we have just enough power to power everything. Um, I'll take power from med bay and put it up there because we don't need the med bay just yet. Okay. I think we are pretty close to ready to go. Ten scrap. So we can't really do anything yet. Because we don't have enough scrap. That's our crew. That's our equipment. Right. Let's do this, I guess. Alright, here we are. We can choose to go here here or here the exit is over here so 
So we could have a short journey, but we do need supplies. Let's... I don't see the rebel fleet, so let's... Um... Let's go here. You're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. They arm weapons. Lovely. Okay, so... I think what I want to do is... Fire the missile at the shields to get through the shields. And then we'll fire the laser after that. Once the shields are done. Hopefully you guys can't get through my shields. Ah! No, 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 no. That sucked. Okay, guys, dodge. Do your job, dodge, please. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Mr. Tuak, fix our weapons. Oh good, we hit him. Now we just need power to this. Dodge! Dodge, dodge, dodge! It's trying to escape! No, 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 no. Fire at the engines, and you fire at the engines. Hopefully one of you or both of you hit. Yeah, we got them! Nice! Okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Scrap for only 14. But we did get a missile back out of our troubles. And we got drone parts for whatever they're good for. Um, what's this? Okay, uh, Mr. Tuvok, you are hurt a little bit. What is this? Oh, that's the door thing. Okay, um... All the systems are good to go, I guess. Um... I'll take a bit of power... Well, how do I take power from the engines, then? Oh, right click, okay. We'll put power into the med bay and then Tuvok go to med bay. Heal up and then go back to weapons. We'll take power off there, put it back on there. Took a little bit of damage. But we are doing all right so far. So let's jump to the next system. Uh, let's go ahead and jump here. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. It doesn't have much health. Um, 
Let's intervene. Detecting a higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Lovely. Um, you... Apparently it doesn't have shields. Well, this is great. Well, we will attack the weapons. And you will attack the pilots we can't dodge. You... Well, he's going to be dead anyway, so he might as well attack at the engines and destroy all his systems. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm glad we chose to fight that guy. We got That was pretty easy. Um, I probably shouldn't even waste a missile on him, honestly. He didn't have shields, so that was kind of pointless. Missiles are good to get through shields. Um, the ship breaks apart, and you quickly salvage what you can. Two fuel from it. Um, ten scrap. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed nonstop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Two missiles back! I don't care about the droid, droid part. Um, we got 18 scrap from them, so it was very beneficial to, uh, to help them out there. That was really good. I'm liking that. Um, we have 52 scraps. We can upgrade some stuff. Um, see enemy interior. One quarter evasion, one half invasion. Blast doors, improved blast doors. Upgrades to blast doors that impede fire spread and intrudery movement. Ooh, that could be good. We could increase the power. If we increase the power, we could have all of our systems up at once. That's 20 and that's 20. That just increases power. Healing boost 1.5, healing boost 3. Ooh, that helps with dodge, too. So that and that help with dodge. Oh, and then shields. Every two, we get increased shields. Ooh, that would be good. Mmm. I say for right now... We get blast doors, and we get some more power, so we can have our med bay going too. And then next time we will work on our shields, possibly some invasion. We don't, that's only 15 scrap, but we only have 12 now. Damn it! Oh well, we'll be able to upgrade that pretty soon. Um, okay. Good to go, good to go. Doing good so far, doing good so far. Um, so we can power up our med bay too. Um, what else did I get? Oh, blast doors, that's right. Blast doors so the um, fire and enemies won't spread around so easy. Okay, that's, that's cool. Uh jump. I still don't see the rebel fleet, so I'm guessing we can take our time here. Oh, I should have got... I need to get sensors, too. Because they'll tell me where a store is and stuff. I don't see the rebel fleet yet, so let's take a chance and go here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed 
near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate its storage vessel for military goods. Well, let's attack it and get our military goods. Now, you don't have shields, so I'm not going to worry about the missiles. But I am going to take down your weapons. Nice. Good, we got that done. Next, we're going to take down your targeting so you can't dodge. Possibly take out take you out altogether. And there you go. That was easy enough. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 18 scrap. Investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Three fuel, three missiles. We're gaining our missiles back. And 11 scrap. Nice! We are doing great so far. This is perfect. Um, now we just need a store to repair all our stuff. Ship... Do I want sh shields, an extra thing of shields, or do I want sensors? Mm. Or piloting. Piloting would be good, too. I don't know. Let's go with shields. Oh, that's going to be 30 now. Damn it. Um... FTL recharges quicker. Dodge goes up. Let's go with that. And then we can continue on with other things. Crap, if I spent all that scrap and now if I hit a store I won't have anything to get. Ah, damn it. Whatever. We're, we're boosting up our ship, damn it. That's, that's how we do it. Um... We're down there, so the only place we can go is here. There's the rebel fleet right there. So now we need to get a move on. The nearby planet shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under... Act 22, Article 112. Warning, quarantine level 5. So, nothing, then. I'm guessing. Nothing. This was a waste of fuel. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> um. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Let's take power from the Menpe and put it into... What's, what's this? Oh, I gotta require. I gotta upgrade the thing. Okay, so never mind. Um, let's keep keep on going. I guess we'll go. Here, scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, bright, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Uh, I don't know if bringing... Let's try to communicate peacefully. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, the creatures guide you to an old NG ship's crash site. Inside, you are able to find and reactivate an NG. So we get an NG, whatever an NG is. 
Fuel one, missile one, scrap nine. What's his name? Joel. Okay, Joel. I don't know what an NG is. And apparently this isn't going to tell me anything. Um... Crew. NG. It's unclear if the NG are par partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known that they make exceptional engineers. Repair speed is doubled. Combat damage inflicted is halved. So it looks like you're going to take over for Tor Torres, and Torres will go work the shields. <laughs> because why the hell not? Um... Oh, well, Joel is an engineer, so he can go repair whatever. He doesn't have to necessarily... Joel, you can work the shields. What the hell not? Um, and I'll have you come and repair things that get broken. How's that? Joel, where are you, Joel? There you are. Go work the shields for me. Since they're going to be attacked most of the time first. It's good to have an engineer in there, I suppose. Alright, well, we're getting along pretty well. Let's, uh... Let's continue on, I guess. Um, can I increase? Oh, I can. Good. We'll do that. Um, jump. Ooh, a store! And a distress signal! Let's go to the distress signal and then the store. I hope we have time for this. You arrive at this distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two larger rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Um, yeah. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull, causing the ship to depressurize and break apart. You move in to loot the remains. Two missiles, one drone part, 11 scrap. Good enough for me. <laughs> pirates get no love from me. If you were a civilian ship, I would have helped you gladly, but pirates get no love from me. Um, okay, I guess we'll jump to the store. I only have 26 scraps, so I'm not going to be able to buy much, but... There's only one other ship at this beacon and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, Traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire necessary supplies to get home. <sighs> Can I sell anything? No. I cannot. I don't have enough scrap to buy. Protects your ship from ion damage, giving a 25% chance to negate it entirely. Don't have enough scrap to buy that. That could be cool. Don't have enough scrap to buy that. I do have enough scrap to fix my ship, though. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. Since this is the only way I can do that. And I have no idea when I'll ever get a store again, so... I guess that's good enough. Um, okay, can't do much else, so let's continue on. Oh, and there's another store! Unfortunately, I still don't have enough scrap. But... <sighs> Maybe I could go there? And then drop back to the store? Maybe? Since I don't have enough scrap for the store right now anyway, it's not going to hurt anything if I miss it anyway, so might as well. It appears that an automated Rebel Scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, well, we are going to drop all weapons onto its engines, then. Um, 
you and um I guess we'll fire a missile at that too. Come on, go faster, charge faster. Oh, please charge fast. Dang it. I don't want him to get away. Oh, he can't get away because his engines are gone. Well, let's fire on his weapons then. This should take care of him. Oh, no! The ship breaks apart and you feel relief in, in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Okay, now we need to repair, so you go fix that. Go fix that. Is that fixed? Why are my sensors not working? Oh. Can I not? Is it not getting... Why is it disabled? Oh, because we're in a nebula, probably. You're inside of a nebula. Your sensors will not function, but the rebel fleet will advance more slowly towards you. Oh, that's good, I guess. You go back to shields. I think everything else is fine. So, let's... Let's continue... We can still get to the store. So... I guess that's what we'll do. The space station here has traveling merchants, shows you his wares. I only have 26, so obviously I'm not going to be able to buy anything. Um, these are drones. Cloaking! I would love cloaking, but I don't have nearly enough scrap for that. Um... So I'll just repair, make use of that before we head off to the exit. And I guess I can go here. This is going to cut it close, but... Another unmanned ship patrols this area. You prepare the ship for combat. Oh, and it has a drone! No! Damn it, no. What's this? Is that the drone control? I bet it is. Um, you are going to fire on the shields and get rid of them. You are going to fire on the drone control and get rid of that. Let's do this. Looks like this drone can't really do too much to me. Oh, but that hurts. Um, uh, I guess if the drone can't do too much to me, I will fire on that, and you fire on his weapons. Dodge, people! Dodge! Thank you for blowing up his his gun, anyway. Okay. You take care of the droid. And I think we'll save the missiles for now, because he's pretty defenseless. And 
and there he goes. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Three missiles, there are two missiles, three fuel, 16 scrap. Engineer, fix that. And I think everybody's okay on health and stuff, so good to go there. Get back into the shields. And let's go ahead and... Ooh, we're cutting it close, cutting it close. Let's uh, get on out of here to the exit. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Your ship is flooded with advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive at this beacon. You arbitrarily pick one up to examine in detail. Trade Missiles 3 for Drone Parts 3. I am not going to trade my missiles for drone parts. No thank you. Do not need nor want. So I guess we're charged and ready to go. Um, can I boost my shields? Yes, I can. Bam! I don't know if I'm going to have enough power to run them, though. That's going to be an issue. Next time we'll have to... Next time we get 20 scrap, we'll have to get more power. What does one do? I can't... Oh, well, I can't take power off that anyway, because that's not on the same power grid. Um... I guess we'll wait. I, I've been doing good enough with the shields as it is, so let's... <sighs> let's call it good for this video. I am the good old gamer. We have completed the first sector in our FTL run with the Kestrel that we've renamed the Delta Flyer with some of our crew. So uh, stay tuned for more next time. We've been doing good so far. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.